How y'all doing? Questions for Marcus. If you can just raise your digital hand, we'll start things off with Rich. Uh, just what are your observations of the pit quarterback picket? Um, looks like he can do a lot with his legs and, and throwing. And just talk about what you guys need to do to contain him. Yeah, he's a very good quarterback, uh, experienced, has an experienced O-line. So, you know, he, he likes to scramble a little here and there, and he can make plays with his legs. So we just have to stay in our rush lanes, really. We've been working on that today. We've been working on that all week. So just be disciplined up front, especially. Try to contain him. We'll go next to Dan. All right, so when you look at the um, offensive line or you're, or you're, you're heading on into a team that runs a completely different offense than what you might have saw last week or the week before or the week before that, um, when, when you have an offensive line like that, how do you prepare differently based on blocking scheme, based on what you might see in the film? Yeah, so every week, uh, you know, Coach makes a lot of cut-ups for us that we watch, and we're, we're going to see how they play. When, every week we're going to create a different plan of attack to defeat them. Uh, this line is pretty, pretty experienced across the board. I know they all have – Experience. Most of them were starters last year, uh, so you know we just we just had to see we see how they block and we're gonna attack them. But I mean we're we're gonna focus on ourselves more than them all the time. So we're always working on our techniques, and it's gonna be a big fundamental game. So, but we definitely always take take into uh, it's always a factor on how they're blocking and stuff. But it's mostly what we're doing. So, and just kind of as a follow up to that, where you've faced so many different offenses and so many different schemes. How have you further developed as a line over the course of the first three games, having faced different schemes to improve or, or alter some of the things that maybe we're doing before the season? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, we, you know, going through camp, we play our own line, but, you know, most of the lines are going to be a little different, and that's just the nature of the game. Uh, but all the old lines have something in common, you know, it's all it's similar, but might be a little different here and there. But I think we've developed a – a big time. I think this is one of the uh, the best caliber lines that we're gonna we're gonna play so far. So I think you know it's gonna be a nice challenge, and we're we're gonna see if our technique is up to it. So we just gotta come come ready to battle. We'll go to Julian. Omar, I was just curious, just like as a captain, you know, like when you look back at last week, how do you how do you address with your guys uh, the some of the penalties in that third quarter where it was like, man, like. This game could come down to the wire, and we kind of put ourselves in a tough spot with some unsportsman likes and some lates or whatever. And because you want to play with edge, but not to the point where it might cost you. Yeah, you always want to play with the edge, but you never want to cross the line. But uh, you know, we just it's just the nature of the game, and you know, we just got to get back and, and be more disciplined. You know, we can't we can't let uh can't lose our cool and get no uh, unsportsman like or anything like that. So we just got to be disciplined and we're working on that this week. So, you know, jumping off sides, all that, it's all, it's all tied in to how you do it in practice. So we're, we're addressing it in practice and we're not accepting it. So, you know, hopefully that shows up in the game that we don't have that anymore, but it happens. We'll go to AJ. So you have two uh, transfers on your line that have come in in the last couple of weeks, and Luke Beckett and uh, Max Roberts. As a captain and other defense, you know, a veteran defensive lineman, how do you kind of ease them in as a teammate and get them involved? And and com and how important is communication with them? Yeah, I mean, for them, it's definitely hard coming in. You know, right right now near the season, they we try to we try to help them out with scheme. You know getting familiar with BC, where we're going, like what we're eating, just there's little things like that. I mean, just, just welcome them with open arms, you know, because they're going to help us a lot. So they're, they made an impact already in the first couple of weeks they were here. So they're going to be huge factors. But, you know, we hope we bring them in. It's all love, you know, and we're getting better and they're going to help us big time. So, yeah. Thank you. Anything else for Marcus before we let him go? All right, Marcus. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Thanks. We'll have Max here just in a couple of minutes. Just a reminder for you guys, if you have not, uh,